as I mentioned before, in order to control the DC to DC converter, uh, you need two 12 volt switch sources. Switch means uh, they're live when the ignition switch is turned on. So what I'm going to do, and one of the best ways, at least for my truck, which is a uh, Ram 1500, uh, the manual indicates that the uh, cigarette lighter is a good source for uh, a switched uh, 12 volt source. So what I have here is I have a, uh, a cigarette lighter adapter I have a barrel connector to wire connector and I have a little project box that I've uh, put a switch into so as I mentioned before uh, 112 volt source uh, switched is to turn on the DC to DC adapter so when it has 12 volts it will then start charging the other 12 volt line is a current limiting option uh, this is a 20 amp DC to DC charger and if uh, the LC connector has 12 volts on it it will drop down to 10 amps so I'm going to wire in this little project box with the switch on it so that I could switch between uh, 10 amp current and 20 amp current. So I'm going to show you how we're going to do this. Uh, if you're not familiar with uh, using a, a multimeter in the ohms uh, position and how to check uh, the positions of a switch such as this one, keep on watching. If you're familiar with how to test a switch, just go ahead and fast forward through. So I'm going to show you how we're going to test this this battery uh, cigarette lighter uh, adapter and how to test which pin positions on this switch we can use to successfully turn on and turn off the 12 volt uh, line. I have a multimeter here set to ohms and I have the mode set to where uh, I can do a continuity test which when you touch the two leads together hopefully you can hear the tone now I can check for continuity so I'm going to show you these uh, pinouts on this uh, cigarette lighter adapter uh, for those of you that know to go ahead and fast forwards the bulb here the on the end is the positive lead and we can then touch just to show you this which wire is which so let's connect a lead to the bulb and as you notice here see if I can get my hands out of the way and if you look at the connector that is the positive side so that's how we check the connectors what we're going to do since we only need the 12 volt positive source for the DC to DC converter we're going to take two wires 16 to 18 gauge tie them into the positive side of this uh, barrel connector and then we're going to run one of the leads actually we're going to run both the leads through the box but on the one of the leads which will be the black lead we'll run that through the switch so we can turn on and off that 12 volt source for the purpose of the limiting current option on the battery charger so we verified the leads on the uh, cigarette lighter and the barrel connector now I'm going to show you how to determine which leads on the switch we need to be able to use this as an on and off type switch you notice on this switch there's three pins on one side and three pins on the other so we can assume and I've tested this before that one side is for one uh, actually both sides are for two separate circuits controlled by the same switch so that means uh, for our situation here we can use one side of the pins now the question is is what two pins do we need to use of these three pins 
and I'm going to show you how to test this out. We have some alligator clip leads here, makes it easier. We're going to clip onto one pin on one side, and we're going to clip on another pin on the opposite end. And now we're going to hitch the alligator clip to our two meter leads. Now that we have the meter leads connected, we can take and toggle the switch and you notice nothing happens. So what I'm going to do is move one of the alligator clips to the center lead on the switch. Hopefully you could hear that. So that means the two leads in, in this orientation on the left side or yeah, on the left side of the switch in this position will allow you to toggle or switch the current on and off. So very simply, uh, if you want, you can go through and test all combinations of pins. Uh, usually the two leads have to be on the same side as the pin so there's one row here one row here normally in this particular switch all the switched portions are on one side and if you move the leads over to the other side you'll find out that the same two leads are switched on the other side so if you've never tested a switch this is the easiest way to do that so what we're going to do on one of our wires and i'm going to choose black as the current i'm going to solder in one black wire on this side let's get rid of the alligator clips one black lead here one black lead here one coming into the box one going out of the box then that way on the black lead i can control whether the the current is on or off and that lead will go be routed to the um, lc connector on the dc to dc power uh, charger or battery charger and uh, that's uh, again according to the manual we want the LC or limited current uh, uh, pin on the battery uh, charger that's how you control whether you want 10 amps or 20 amps charging so I'm going to solder two wires here then I'm going to show you how we're going to uh, drill the holes in the case and mount the wires and then I'll come back uh, on camera and we'll show you how that is uh, configured. I have the wiring harness wired now. At one end we have the cigarette lighter adapter going around to a barrel connector to wire connector. Both wires uh, are connected to the positive of the positive side we go one the red wire goes through the switch and then I have what is referred to as a Dean's connector uh, this little red connector with uh, the pins in different shapes one's uh, vertical one's horizontal I like these because you can't make a mistake on polarity so the red is on the the uh, horizontal connector and the black is on the, the vertical connector so now let's let me show you how we're going to test this to make sure we're wired properly. The cigarette lighter provides 12 volt, 12 volts from the the switch cigarette lighter adapter. We have the switch in the on position. So if we touch the the connector coming from the cigarette lighter, and we touch the red lead. The black lead works, red lead doesn't. We switch the switch on. So now we have the black will be hot all the time. So the minute you plug this in, the black lead is supplying 12 volts. This is for 
to turn on the DC to DC charger. The red can be switched on and off. When it's in the on position, it signals the uh, battery charger to go into a 10 amp mode. If I turn the switch off, then the battery charger goes into the 20 amp mode. So this is now wired. We've properly tested this. Now what we can do, uh, I already have the wiring uh, in the truck for this adapter. What we have to do is we have to run some 8 gauge wire now in the truck from the vehicle's battery uh, to the DC to DC charger. I'm going to show you where I'm going to mount the charger. So let's go out to the vehicle now and I'm going to show you how we're going to go ahead and mount everything up.